Hey, good morning, Internet family. I'm glad you're here today with me. Um, it's at the end of April, and the roses are in bloom, so I'm collecting rose petals. I grow culinary roses uh, that I use for rose syrup, which can be used in tea or over your ice cream or in anywhere you put sweet flavoring. Uh, tonic water, or not tonic water. Seltzer water, whatever you use with bubbly stuff. <laughs> bubbly water, tea, um, in confections, it's wonderful. Uh, I also make rose vinegar and dry it for winter for tea. You, I usually will mix it with mint or with basil, and it's uh, really heartwarming. I do like the Tulsi basil, which is the Indian holy basil. It's kind of spicy with the rose and a little bit of mint. It's a wonderful tea. So it's very easy to do. All you do is grab the blossoms. I know it'll hurt your heart to destroy something so beautiful, but it'll get revenge on you by blooming again and again and again. <laughs> you, do, you do want to start this process uh, after the morning dew has dried and that the, the petals are, uh, are a little bit dry. Oh, and the scent is wonderful. It's also, you can also harvest them in the late evening. Uh, after they've gone through the midday wilt, they've kind of uh, dehydrated a little, and that concentrates the, uh, the scented oils in them. Uh, but either way, it's, it's wonderful. And so this morning, I'm harvesting rose petals. Let's have some fun. Another thing you can do with rose petals that's, that's rather lovely is uh, you beat up some egg whites and get a, a bowl of powdered sugar and a little craft uh, paintbrush. And uh, you sit, lay your petals on a piece of wax paper and paint them with the, um, the egg white and then sprinkle the, put, put the um, powdered sugar in like a, a salt shaker and shake it over the top and stick it in your oven or if you have a dehydrator in your dehydrator at the absolute lowest setting, for a few hours it'll, it'll dry and crystallize and then you store that in a glass jar and you can put that on cupcakes and on cakes for decoration, uh, on your ice cream if you want to be fancy schmancy, uh, but it, it, it's an idea for you, okay? That's how you harvest rose petals. Uh, we have several varieties. Uh, the, my favorite is the Damask Rose from Damascus, Syria. Uh, it's also the type of rose that the uh, Eastern Orthodox and Chaldean Christians make incense out of that they, they swing during liturgy. We have several types of roses we grow here on our Georgia Suburban Homestead. Uh, this is the Damansk Rose. I just uh, picked it. We have three bushes. And this little beauty here, it's kind of dropped most of its petals already, but this is a rose hip. It's a Rosa, Rugu Rosa Rugosa <laughs> from, uh, from China. And I want you to look at the thorns on this baby. You see that? We don't necessarily uh, harvest this for the petals. We let it go ahead and go to rose hips. But it, they use this in some parts of the world as protective hedges around homes and properties. Because let me tell you, with these thorns, no one's really going to question it and try to push through the bushes onto your property. And while we walk down and show you the musk roses, Let's look at what we've gotten so far, just off a couple of bushes. Isn't that lovely? This is a musk rose bush, and it's got a slightly different scent. 
and you'd be able to tell them from the other roses because they are deeper in color. Well, when you grow roses for culinary use, you want to make sure that you're not using any systemic poisons. So we don't spray our roses with anything other than neem if we see some thrips or, or biting, chewing insects, which we really don't see. Neem also takes care of um, leaf spot, bacterial or fungal infections, and um, if you plant garlic around the bottom of your rose bushes, yes, garlic, look how healthy the foliage is. So I'm going to turn the camera off and show you the results of picking my blossoms. All right, folks, just to show you the difference in these species of roses, we've got our musk rose, that's the deep pink. We've got our damask rose, which is a light pink. And then I forget what variety this is, but it smells pretty good too, pretty spicy. Uh, only a one bloom so far on that bush this year, but we just planted it last fall. So what do you think of that? Is that pleasing? And uh, thank you so much for keeping me company today with my roses. See you later.